Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom, and today we got a treat for you. This beautiful 49 Chevy 3100 five window is just off the chain. What a restoration on this one. This is a true resto mod pickup for you. Check out the front end on this beast. All chrome, all shiny. I don't even see any paint flaws up front. Absolutely beautiful. Remember, we only buy the cream of the crop, and you should see this. Even the glass, just everywhere around this truck is so impressive. I had an opportunity to drive it and was just very excited by the drive. Check out the side profile of this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's loaded up. It's got a fuel-injected motor, LQ9. Um, it's got a 4L80E trans, you know, automatic overdrive check out the beautiful interior remember I'm available seven days a week you can call me my number is 248-974-9513 do you see how that door shut Wow, that's quality right there, guys. We're gonna swing this around. We're gonna peek in the bed, which looks awesome. I love the way they did the bed. Check out the wood floor in there. Absolutely beautiful. They put the uh, fuel, fuel uh, cap right there as well for the gas. Going down the passenger side, the same beauty. Unbelievable restoration. Wait till you see the underside too. Radio antennas right here. They thought of everything on this truck. Remember, we're available seven days a week, so give me a call at 248. 974-9513. We can help you with financing, transportation, and ultimately park this dream in your driveway. Right, guys let's take this 49 for a ride what a sweet build on this 49 5 window um, haven't had any of these in a while and, and they're one of my favorite pickup trucks from the classics this one was done to a t it's got a lq9 motor it's got one of the modern uh 4l 80e i believe it is uh automatic transmission that's uh it's a four it's a automatic with the overdrive um, everything has been touched on this truck. It's absolutely amazing. If I was going to build it, it would be just like this. It's got AC, um, radio, speakers down there. The interior is absolutely phenomenal how they did it. The painted dash is beautiful. Um, all the gauges, everything. This thing I could just drive it to Florida right now. And we're up in Michigan. Remember, at Vanguard, we're nine consignment. So every vehicle you see in our showroom is here because we want it here. We actually write checks for our cars, but we only do that if they're the right ones. And this is, fits the bill. It actually has a stereo mounted under here, if you're wondering, between the two seats um, is the stereo. Uh, it's got speakers right here in the dash. It's kind of right behind the uh, Chevy there and look how nicely painted this is as nice as the outside of the car 
and the fuel injection modern motor is awesome to have in these resto mods is where it's at this thing gets up and goes too remember we can help you with financing transportation the whole nine yards so don't hesitate to call me I'm available seven days a week. My name is Tom at 248-974-9513. Check out all the glass too in here and all the trim around the door. You can just tell when you're like buying something that's been well restored. You know, they, they, the attention to detail on this truck is, is uh, the best. One of the best that I've seen. Don't forget to visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. On there you can see all our current inventory as well as our pricing. So if you're watching on YouTube right now, you're probably wondering, there's no prices on here. Uh, so you can visit our website and get all that information. And also, if you know anybody selling a well-restored classic, you can always refer them to us and we pay a finder's fee. So that's kind of neat if you're into cars and you're going to a car show and you see some cool cars, don't forget about us. Take some pictures, the phone number, and get, give it to us and uh, we'll take care of you if we buy the car. And if you want to come out and visit us, you're more than welcome. We're located in Plymouth, Michigan, about our half hour north of the airport. Or if you want to buy sight unseen, about 99% of our clients do it and have been doing it for about two decades, you can do that as well. We're going to bring this in now. We're going to put it up on the hoist. We're going to show you the bottom and just how beautiful this truck is all the way around. Okay, guys, we got our 1949 Chevrolet up on the rack. So the first thing I'm going to point out is that the underside of the bed looks like it's finished as well. Very, very pretty. And uh, the contrast between the frame and the body and everything being like the underside of the body all being painted body color as well, like in this area here, uh, looks very, very nice. No big surprise this is going to be a frame off restoration uh, type thing that we got going on here. Uh, big old stainless fuel cell. Um, forward of that we have a GM 10 bolt rear end. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, this is, uh, we determined roughly a 1973-1974 Camaro uh, rear end. We're going to have a limited slip, 373 gear ratio, drum brakes on either end of it, leaf springs holding everything up. Um, the exhaust system on this truck is actually really, really nice. Um, they looks like it's all TIG welded together, um, you know what I mean, no crush bends, it's all nice like a mandrel bent style uh, stainless exhaust, very, very nice. Uh, Magnaflow mufflers on it. Um, frame looks to be correct for the truck, doesn't look like it's anything super modified. Um, underside of the floor pans uh, on the cab here. Look like they're all in really nice shape. They do have like a coating, almost like a bed liner type coating on them. It looks like a low car style parking brake, which looks like it is indeed hooked up. Um, bottom side of our running boards, of course, painted to match the outside of the truck. They look really, really nice. All the drop downs here, all that looks like a pretty nice metal as well. Uh, they obviously cleaned up really, really nice before putting their coating on it. Um, as far as transmissions go, this is a 4L80, uh, four speed automatic, all electronically controlled. And we're gonna get to uh, the computer here in just a second. Um, the underside of our 60 uh, LQ4, if I'm not mistaken, uh, LS architecture, uh, V8, uh, a little more modern, of course. And then we have our uh, independent front suspension conversion here. It's all tubular stuff. Looks like a Mustang II style uh, front suspension. Like I said, tubular upper and lower control arms, Viking uh, damper adjustable shocks, both rebound and uh, compression uh, adjustable. A um, little bit later mile style, style brakes on the front as well. We've got GM disc brakes on the front of it power rack and pinion steering, and then if you take a look up inside the uh, wheel wells there, once again, just a testament to how nice the truck is built. Uh, a lot of the time you don't get that kind of a detail when you get, uh, you know, when people are restoring cars. That kind of a detail is uh, a big thumbs up for me. As far as wheels and tires, we got a set of Boyd Coddington wheels, uh, 215, 55R17 wheels, a set of Goodyear Eagle RSAs on it. Uh, I believe the rears have the same if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, Goodyear. Eagle RSA is back here as well, 235-65 R17 is back here as well. Uh, a little bit bigger tire, Boyd Coddington wheels, same as the front. 
Um, very, very nicely done. And uh, at this point, we're going to go take a look at the LQ4 under the hood. Okay, guys, now you heard me mention it underneath. Here is a uh, LS architecture engine shoehorned into this truck. And they actually did a really nice job of putting it in here. Um, stuff like, uh, let's say, for example, this uh, coolant hose here, or actually it's piping. They TIG welded it all together, brushed it all really nicely. Same thing with like our intake pipe as well. You can see it's all TIG welded together, uh, probably a custom made unit for the truck. Uh, especially this engine cover too, also you know, kind of hides everything really well, painted to match the truck, very, very nice. Not certain if it's bought or if it's made, it wouldn't surprise me if it was made. Um, same thing with like a lot of these little panels here, I mean overall just the attention to detail like this gets a big thumbs up from me. I didn't mention it underneath, this thing actually has a set of Sanderson uh, coated shorty headers on it. Um, the ECU for the truck is a, a GM, just a GM computer that's lo excuse me, located up under the dash. Um, of course, no big surprise, we've got power steering and uh, power brakes on it. And uh, once again, the master cylinder, if I didn't mention it, is located up underneath the truck. Uh, overall, a very nice build. Looks like a much higher than normal build quality. Even has an aluminum uh, brushed up radiator on it as well. Very, very high build quality. Uh, very nice truck, both top side, bottom side, all of it pretty much. And apparently it drives very, very well. So, that all being said, guys, if you'd like to have this one parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motorsports park this truck in your driveway. We'll see you in the next one, guys.